welcome your next comedian, very funny, very handsome, Chris Collier! What is up, y'all? Uh, I want to work more, like, into my stand-up. I don't know, just like, I don't know. Just a thought I had. Um, my dog died over break. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I guess, like, more specifically, he was killed. Uh, not, like, by my family. My family, we're not monsters. Uh, we hired somebody to kill him. <laughs> it was really weird for me. I was so confused when it happened because my parents, like, sat me down and they were like, all right, Chris, we're going to have somebody, like, come to our house. He's going to put, he's going to put Buddy to sleep. And I was like, okay, that's good. He likes sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and then the dude, like, this dude came over and he just, like, uh, did the, uh, there we go. Uh, he put him to sleep. And, but then, like, he picked him up and, like, carried him. He started carrying him to his car. And I was just like, whoa, 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 mister. This is not the deal we had. Uh, I thought he was just taking a nap. I thought you were a veterinarian, not a fucking hitman. <laughs> a low-budget hitman, I hope. I don't know, I hope my parents didn't, like, overpay said hitman to kill our dog because he, like, he just like didn't really move or eat for like a week before we killed him. This, uh, oh god, this is so real. Uh, I don't know, I just like hope my parents didn't over overpay to have our dog killed because I think that'd be a disservice. Now he's on our mantle. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, I had a weird day today. Uh, I don't know how to transition out of that joke. Uh, I had a weird day today. My math teacher told me to have more affairs today. I don't know. It was, like, pretty unprompted. He was just like, affairs aren't bad, guys. And I was just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> supposed to be learning abstract algebra. <laughs> and he was just like, yeah, no, like, uh, uh, affairs aren't bad. And we are like, why? Because, I mean, it, I guess at least we aren't learning math. <laughs> and he was just like, it's just a moral thing, really. Like, like if you, if you were not going to hurt somebody by having an affair, maybe you should do it. And we were just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Man? It was so weird, giving us a moral lesson. Do you, like, it was just a philosophy lesson, not a math lesson. He needs to get his shit together. <laughs> uh, I'm also in a woman's studies class right now. Uh, the other day, we were talking about verbal fry. If you don't know what verbal fry is, it's like this thing that I guess someone would do when they try to communicate, where they sound a lot like people when they're trying to communicate, but... Uh, it's just like a little bit lower than normal. It's like, ah, uh, you know, that sound that people make to make words. Uh, and some people are like, that sounds weird, you shouldn't say that. And <laughs> it's a real thing. Uh, <laughs> not just making it up for y'all. Although I would for you. Uh, um, but yeah, then like my teacher loves debates in our class, so like he, she made us have a debate, and she chose who was gonna be on each side of the verbal fry debate, and then she chose me to be on the side that women sound weird and they should change how they sound so it doesn't make some guys uncomfortable sometimes. And yeah, it was weird for me to do that. So like, I was just like, I'll just Donald Trump this. I'll say some weird shit. <laughs> Nobody's gonna pay attention to me. So like, a girl on the other side was like, yeah, no, women shouldn't change their voices because that's stupid. We just talk. And, 
And then I was just like, yeah, but when you talk, it sounds weird. And in front of the class, I was like, yeah, when you talk, it kind of sounds like that kid from The Grudge. So you shouldn't talk like that. And then she got a chance to, re to rebut. And, and she was like, this is a medical condition for me. Like, I've been diagnosed by doctors that I can't change how I talk. And then that was the end of class. My teacher was just like, all right, well, good debate, everybody. And I was just like, what? Like, I didn't even get a chance to say I'm sorry to the teacher. I just fucked your day up. And then we left. Uh, I am, I'm not great at talking to girls. Um, not because, like, I get nervous talking to girls. I, like, that's just not me. I don't really do that. But, like, I am, like, kind of afraid of insulting them when I hit on them. I don't know, it's weird. But uh, an example of this, I was at a party a while ago and I was talking to this girl and she was pretty cool. And so we were talking and I was like, you're pretty cool. And <laughs> then she was like, why don't we go back to my place? I was like, that seems cool, we can hang out more. Like, I enjoy your company. So we did, we went back to her place, we were watching Comedy Central. And then an ad came on for a phone sex line. And she was just like, you know, we could do that. And I was like, hmm, yeah, maybe. Um, also, like, I, I wasn't sure at the time whether she meant, like, she wanted to have sex or call a phone sex line. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not sure whether you want to have sex or we're not, so I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> And then like a little bit later, she, had, she pulled another bold move and she called me a beautiful creature. <laughs> Which <laughs> I wasn't sure how to take, honestly. Like I knew she was trying to compliment me, but I mean like worst case scenario, she saw me as like an above average orakai from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> and like best case scenario, she saw me as like a hummingbird. <laughs> like something like a creature that's majestic, but I mean like still a hummingbird. Like you don't want to fuck a hummingbird. <laughs> so I was just like, I don't know how to respond to this, so I won't. <laughs> so I just ignored her. We were both sitting on the couch together. I just ignored her. Uh, and so we kept watching Comedy Central, we kept watching South Park. And then after a little time passed, she was like, Alright, well like what she was like running out of options. She was like, I invited this guy to my house. I very obviously suggested that we should have sex. I called him a beautiful creature. I'm out of moves. I've done everything I can to have sex with this man. And so she just looked at me and she was like, what do you want to do? Like, do you want to like stay up or do you want to go to bed? What do you want to do? And I was just like, all right, last chance. Time to get my moves on, time to get my flirt on. So I was like, yeah, you know, maybe we could, uh, I mean, like, if you're tired, we can go to bed if you want. <laughs> I mean, like, we can save two if you want. Uh, so we did, we watched another episode of South Park. <laughs> And then, and then she looked at me again, she was like, look, I, I have to get up at like 8 a.m. tomorrow. What, what's going on here? I was like, it seems like you just want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just go to bed. So then, then she just like, she got me a blanket and tucked me in. <laughs> and got me a glass of water so I wouldn't get thirsty throughout the night. And then I was just like, I thought she wanted to have sex with me. Now she's treating me like I'm her little brother. <laughs> it was weird. It was a weird experience for me. Uh, Cause y'all know how it is sometimes. I think it's best you come to me that I'm not gonna. This person not gonna is very angry sexual thing. Angry before. sexual thing. Yeah. No. We're we're gonna need you to just uh -oh. come over here. I can't put this up. I've gotten a lot of angry sexual complaints. In yeah, that was, that was weird. This is very savage. Very savage. Yeah. Uh, I, the subject is I will fucking have you, Chris Collier. Um, 
the message behind the subject is what makes you think you can be so pretty and pristine, you beautiful fuck? And they're over exaggerating everything at this point. I swear to God, I'm going to fucking find you and cut that pretty fucking mouth. What? <laughs> what? You, you see why you sexy face fucko, I'll kill you. <laughs> I swear to fucking Christ, I'm not fucking stable. I'll fuck your fucking shit. Now that's a mixed message. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't be afraid. I love you. I'll do everything to you. Why don't you love me? Question mark, exclamation point. Question mark, exclamation point. Oh, but then you just projected it anyway. Yeah, I know. Um, the thing is, I kind of wrote this one. Oh. Is the problem? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, you should probably keep an eye out. <laughs> keep an eye out.